This one contains the pollen grains. You see, if you take any flowering plant, we have the male, we have the female aspect. So pollination is actually when you take place and that is where it will start the fruit yes. formation. Welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation, your platform that will aid you in developing in agriculture through simple innovative ideas. Today we are going to talk about pollination in maize plants. How pollination occurs in maize production. We shall take you through a short discussion and after that we move you to the field for practical observation on how natural pollination occurs in maize. So simply put, pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same species. Meaning that if you take flowering plants, a maize is a flowering plant, it means flower, yeah. There are two major parts, the stamen and the pistil. The stamen is the male part and the pistil is the female part. Without wasting much time, let me do some small sketch so we look at how it occurs. So if you take a maize plant, let's say this is a maize plant. This is the root. This is the stem. And then as I do, these are the leaves. There are violations. So let's say this is the maize plant. See so this is the tassel. So, we have the male part and then the female part. This is the female part and this is the male. Now, this is how pollination occurs. Let's say this is also another maize plant. Very simple. This is for a practical explanation. If you are not working with our sketches, please forgive us. Yeah. Yes, so that is how it is. So the transfer of pollen grains here, this place contains pollen. That is the pollen grains. It's quite a powdery substance on the male uh, 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 flower. And then the female is here. So the transfer of this pollen grains, this powder, from here to this side, or from here to that side. We have two main form types of pollination. That is, um, Cross pollination and self pollination. There are situations whereby the male and the female parts are located on one plant, and when the transfer of pollen from the male to the female, when that occurs on the same plant, it is called self pollination, and whereby the the male is found here, the female is on another plant. That transfer of the pollen is there as cross pollination. Now, natural pollination in maize occurred naturally by God and that one insects perform all those activities and then even the wind so the agents of um, pollinations are biotic and abiotic there are factors you know um, the biotic factors or agents are the insects and then the wind while the wind is blowing some of the powdery substance fall on the uh, female part and that is when fertilization also takes place for the formation of the fruit. 
Yeah. So from here, if you look at it carefully, the natural position of hairs when the pollen is forced from here to this side. Or sometimes insects go and sit on it because uh, it contains some uh, uh, petals and all those things. So it will be here, they will feed on it. And when they sit on it, the powdery substance will be on their skin. They move and sit on the female. And when that happens, that is, so let's say this is an insect. This is an insect. This is an insect. So you sit on it and then move on to sit here too. So the powdery substance will just pour on the, uh, the tassels here. And when that happens, fertilization takes place. And that leads to the formation of fruit. So simply put, this is natural pollination that occurs in maize. That is how it is. Or sometimes, if you are going by the cross pollination, the artificial pollination, that one, you, the farmer, you can easily get the pollen from here using a simple uh, tool. You get it, you scrape it from here, and then you pour it on the female part, and that fertilization also takes place. Now, let's go to the field and watch how natural pollination occurs in base. These ones contain the pollen grains. You see, if you take any flowering plant, we have the male, we have the female aspect. So pollination is actually when it take place and that is where it will start the fruit formation. Simply put, pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same species. So, as you can see, it's here very soon. It will open up and then the pollen grains will be shown. Through insects, they will pollinate it and send it to the female part. And when that happens, then they start forming the fruit. Let me see whether I can get some of them and show you. You see the insects moving along. I think we have one here. Let's check from here. Okay, so I think this is cool. Yes, you can see that they are pollinating it. This is natural pollination. Yes, this is the tassel. This is the male aspects. Um, you would have seen insect moving here and there. Once they sit on it, then the powdery substance that which is the pollen grains gets stuck on their body then they move to sit on another plant so the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower or oh, you can see that it is forming here just look at this yeah so from here the insects sit here or even as the wind is blowing some of the powdery substance being the pollen greens can easily fall on the female part. This is the female part. It has started fruit formation. This is maize. It has started fruit formation. Once the powdery substance gets here, that is when pollination takes place. And then the process of fruitening, fruit formation also begins. Then fertilization takes place, leading to the forming of the grains and that form the maize grains that we see so the farm here basically um at a natural pollination is normally what we see on our usual field but sometimes you can also do artificial pollination that one you can just get the pollen from here you cover it and then um you just get some uh, needle you get some of the powdery you put it here and that is it so if you have different varieties of maize, um, it's just about moving a pollen from the other variety to the, to, 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 to the female aspect and then it is going to develop. So that is how it is. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. So it has formed as the fruit formation in maize farming. So today we'll let you know some basic things about maize. At least you've seen a lot of it after planting. But sometimes that you see that it starts tasseling. The tassel is dead and then it is getting 
to the female aspect to form fruit. So this is pollination, natural, uh, natural pollination in maize plants. Natural pollination in maize plant. That is how it happens. I want us to see a tassel whereby you can see some insect rolling and moving on it for quick explanation. I think one is here. One is here. One is here. Let's check on that. Yeah, you can see that the insects are moving. They are moving on the the sat on the on the male aspect, the male part. And you can see the female part also forming here. Yeah. So this is natural pollination. That's how it happens. The insect will sit here. The pollen grains will drop here, and then the formation starts. And then, apart from insects, as an agent of pollination, um. Even the wind blowing can blow some of the powdery substance on. So it okay, it can occur on this, it can occur on other plants too. So self-pollination and cross-pollination. So these are the, the the parameters. So that's how it is in base farming. Simply put, uh, pollination in base farming.